Hello guys. In this video, we will learn how can we enable our maps to work offline on the Collector app. So as you remember, when we published or created the feature layers, before we publish it to ArcGIS Online, we made sure that we enable Sync. And synchronization will allow your app, the Collector app, to download this maps offline, so you can use it offline anywhere. If you don't have an internet connection, you can collect the data normally, and then when you go back to your office or you go back to a place where you have internet connection, you can synchronize this data to save it to the database. So if we go back to the feature layer right here that we published from ArcGIS Pro, you will see that if we go to the settings, you will see that there's an option here for offline usage. Enable synchronization. Require for offline use and collaboration. If you disable these options, you cannot use this layer for offline usage. So make sure to have this one enabled. And if you want to disable the offline use, you can do it right here. But right now you are changing these settings based on the feature layer. There is another place you can change these settings by the web map itself. So if we go back to the content, and we open any of this web maps and you go to the settings you will see here that you have offline mode you can turn it on or off so you have two options to turn on the offline based on the feature service level and you have the option to turn on the offline or turn it off on the web map level as well and here you can manage the areas that can be used for offline. So right now when we go to the collector app and you will see that we can download any offline areas. But here you can define what areas you need to use for offline. So you can configure what areas you need to use for offline. So anyone who is using the collector app, they cannot download maps outside of the area you are configured right here. So now let's go back here. So this is the options you can configure for the offline usage on the web map level. And this is an inspection map, so I will show you the difference between if you have uh, offline enabled or disabled. So for this one, I will disable the offline mode, I will save it, and then I have another two web maps that have offline enabled. The verify and the repair maps already have offline. So we will use this for offline, and I will show you that you cannot use this for offline because we disabled the offline mode for this specific map. So now let's go back to the collector and see how can we do that. So right now here on the home page on your collector app, you see all the maps that you can use. We have the inspection map, the repair and the verify. And we just disabled the offline usage for the inspection map so you cannot use it offline. The way to use any map offline, you go and tap on this three dots right here and you click on add offline area. And when you click add offline area, it will ask you which area you want to uh, save as offline. So as you see, this uh, rectangle here will download all the maps and all the data inside this rectangle. And this is the maximum size for the area you can download. You can zoom in and pan so you can define a smaller area. So for example, if I know that I'm going to uh, this location tomorrow to collect some data and I know there is no uh, like uh, internet connection there, I can zoom into this area and I will tap on download area. And download area will download all the features and all the attachments and all the base maps for this specific area. It might take a few minutes, but once it's downloaded, we will be able to use this map offline and collect the data offline. So right now the download for the offline area we selected is done and we have this map right now saved on our phone and we can use it offline anytime. It show you the size that is used on the phone for this specific map. So this area used 117 megabytes and we downloaded it and the last time was four minutes ago, the last time for the synchronization. One of the things you need to know that you can add as many offline areas as you want. So if we go back to the maps, and again, we did the same thing here, right click and say add offline area. And if we tap on this three dots right here, you will see that you have the option to add another offline area. So you can add multiple offline areas if you want. If you know that you will go to multiple places and every single place doesn't have uh, like internet connection there, you can download as many areas as you want. So I know that this area doesn't have internet connection and this is one of the areas I'm gonna go tomorrow to collect my data. So I can tap on download area and I will download this one as well. So right now I have two offline areas I can use and I can add as many offline areas as I want.
also you can rename this online areas so if you tap on this three dots you'll see that you have the option to sync your data if you collected the data and you came back with internet connection you can tap on sync to make sure that everything is synchronized with the database you can remove the area or you can rename it so we can rename this one here offline area one and once the other one downloaded we can rename this one as well so right now till this one downloads one of the important things I want to show you that if you go to the maps you have the repair map right now only use the offline areas so you cannot use it online as you have the verify map right now so the verify map right now because it's online you can use it as any other map but because we downloaded offline areas for the repair map we can only use the offline areas we downloaded if you want to have the option to use either offline or online on the same time you can create another web map copy paste the repair map and keep one for online and keep one for offline so let's do that right now on our ArcGIS online so here we have the repair map this one have uh, offline enabled what we can do is we can uh, rename this one and save it as a repair map underscore offline so here I will rename this one underscore offline and I know the offline usage is enabled for this one and I can save as another one and I will call it repair map underscore online and I'll save it in the same folder I will save it and then when I go back to the content I will have two maps for the repair one for online usage and one for offline usage so what I need to make sure of that no one can download offline maps for this one so I will open it and go to the settings and disable the offline mode for this online map so now I'm sure I have two uh, maps for the repair map one for online usage and one for offline usage if we go back to the content you will see that we have two maps for the repair map so you can do the same for the inspection map add one underscore online and underscore offline and same for the verify map and when we go back to the collector you will see that you will have two different maps for the repair you have one for the online and one for the offline you can keep using the online anytime you have internet connection you will have the same options same configuration same filtering and same everything and you can keep using the one that have the offline maps that we are downloading right now so we have online and we have offline and for the online one because we disabled the offline mode when you tap here there is no add offline areas in this map right here and that will allow the users in the field to define or decide if they want to use the online one or the offline one based on if they have internet connection or not so right now let's go back to the offline one and wait for the other one to download and once the download is done I will go and disconnect my phone from the internet so we can see how can we collect data on the offline mode so if I tap on any map right now you will see that it looks different you only have the areas that you downloaded you cannot see any other areas and uh, as even if you are connected online but you still cannot see the other areas you only see the area and the maps and the base maps you downloaded if you want to synchronize any data you tap on this icon right here uh, to synchronize the data you collected on your phone or to retrieve any data from the database we are still connected to the internet so let's disconnect the phone from the internet put it in airplane mode and see how the collector app will behave when we have this offline maps so now let's go back and go to maps and let's close the collector app altogether and here we will enable the airplane mode so we disconnect the Wi-Fi and we disconnect the internet connection altogether now if I open the collector again you will see that it will show me a message down here say no internet connection and it will only show me the maps that I downloaded offline and I can use it offline it's not gonna show me anything else because all this uh, maps is used for online and this is the only one I downloaded offline so when I tap on this one I will see the areas that I downloaded so right now we can open offline area 1 and we can do the same thing as we do with any other uh, map we can add a new feature and we can add uh, a new area and we can add points same thing as we do when we are connected to the internet but right now we are doing it offline I can take a photo and I can enter all the information as we do need repair and we will add all the attributes as we did before repair team 
today date repair notes all good done and we tap submit submit is not going to save it to the database because we are not connected to the internet but once i have something on my phone that need to be synchronized with the database you will see that this icon here have this extra dot this extra dot means that there's something on my phone that need to be sent and synchronized with the database so right now you can collect as many data as you want you can add as many pictures and use the collector app on offline mode same as you do with online mode so now let's go back to the maps and let's close the collector app and enable the internet again and let's open the collector again we go back to the maps you will see all the maps as you are connected to the internet but you still have one that need to be uh, synchronized and as you see here there's one uh, this map the offline one because we collected some data offline it show you that there is one local edit that need to be synchronized so when I open this uh, offline map you will see here that the offline area one shows you that there's a message say one local edit need to be synchronized so when you open this map again you will still see this dot and that means you need to tap on this one to, to synchronize this data to your new location so this is the new feature we added offline it's not saved to the database yet it's not synchronized with the database so we need to tap on this icon and say sync and it will take just a few seconds to synchronize this data and add it to the database so it will show up for everyone and it will show up as you are using online so now the synchronization is done if we go back to the online one right here repair map online you will see the area we just synchronized offline and this is how you can use offline maps on the collector app uh, it's better to have one map for offline usage and one for online usage because if you download it any area you cannot see the online map unless you delete this areas by tap on each one of them and remove the area so it's good to have one map for offline they can download as many areas as they want and if they don't have internet connection they can use offline and you have another one for online that you disable the offline mode for it and then when they have internet connection they can use the online one and that's it for this video and uh, it's very easy it's very simple the most important thing you need to know is to enable synchronization for the feature layer before you publish it and make sure the web map have synchronization and offline mode enabled to use it for offline uh, thank you so much and we'll see you in the next video